ago you suggested over the phone to me when me and my family were subject to, hope, to nearly being homeless. On the phone to you personally, you told me as a full-time taxpayer in this country to give up my job. No. And then, yeah. but you can put them in there and give them everything for nothing. And I work and my husband works and my family work. And that was your answer as a minister. Yeah. 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 It's, trans, it's transparency of information. People of the internet now, we, we, we don't it's have here. to look up to our leaders, you know. Some people feel they don't even have to look up to their doctors anymore. No. We are sovereign, we have to look after our health, yeah. our mind, and have been labelled as far-right, conspiracy theorists, fascist, right-wing, um, non-educated. It's quite hard for a girl from Ballina who's educated two degrees, biochemistry, physiotherapy, I've worked Australia, England, and Ireland, and to be told that these people are, un are vetted, we're been lied to, we're been lied to all the time. We're been lied, 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 and we're not stupid. I just wanted to do my physio, do my art, go off rowing down the river. That's all I want to do. But now I've got children coming up, and I'm not gonna be a slave. And nobody's gonna be a slave here. And what's happened is slowly, I can't charge more for my treatments because people have no more, more money, and there's only so much everyone can earn, and it's been pulled away from us. We're getting poorer. Most of us, but a few, are making a half a million a week. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's all I say. Just, I, I want people to start asking yourselves some questions here. Who financially is gaining from all of this, first of all? Right? They're the people that needs to be called out. When it comes to the government, it is the government that is doing this to its people. And let me just say something else about the, the uh, migrants, as I'm going to call them. Don't look at those people with disrespect. They are being brought in here for a reason. Everything to do is beyond what we can even imagine. I had to learn that the hard way. And I'm telling you now, if we let this happen, from the sexualization, indoctrination of our children, to everything that our culture stands for, if that goes, I'm telling you all here now, and I hope every single person says it, the consequences of this down the road is detrimental. And I will go to my grave, but my grandchildren will grow up in the same world as me. I took a step that day in the town on the mic. Something told me, do what you need to do. Nobody's speaking out. Nobody's saying nothing. And I was so angry inside. And I expressed my anger. I'm doing it again tonight. But I went out and I sat down and I planned every step of where I've come to today. And I don't care. When I put up my first video, I thought people would think, oh, let's see her. Let's see. But, you know, let's have a look at what she's saying. But you know what? I got people to look, didn't I? I got people to listen. And that is my passion. And will never change and I'm telling you we have to suffer the consequences do not let this happen to our culture our families uh, us as people we need to start really opening the eyes and seeing the bigger picture here it is a long haul I've spent nights I've had no sleep I've been up to this government has put me through hell I have had to sit down and I've had to read and I've had to research and I'd go and meet people and on Facebook when I'd be getting messages and texts and I was feeling sick and I wanted to vomit it was that bad because I knew what was happening in our town and in our country and I can't stand back looking at it anymore and I really hope he can because I look at little kids that I grew up with my doll on the street and the little boys playing their cowboys and Indians and look what they're doing them to now and I'm going to go as far as normalised paedophilia let's call it this little children syndrome let's call it little person syndrome there's so much happening behind the scenes I have to make people see what is happening around them and I've had enough because I'm very stressed over the whole thing and I am going to someday sue this government for what they've done to this country and our people. I'm looking here at the crowd that has turned out and it's absolutely brilliant that so many people but and, and I was making reference there to what Hugh said about community support but the reality is this needs to happen in every village and town in this country at the one time at the one time that the people of this country say 
Friday, enough is enough. Ireland is full. But there needs to be a plan put in place at a certain time, on a certain date, that everybody in every village and town in this country take to the roads. Thank you. Now, on my Facebook page that I started with 20 people is now a thousand. I want to bring that up. And here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. If we don't stop this the first time round, this is only the first. This is the start. We know they're coming in dribs and drabs. We know every place they're at. There's nothing I don't know at this stage. But some of us kept in here for when I really need it. Okay? But what I will say to you is please join us on my Facebook page. Concerned Citizens of Ballina. Okay? And the reason you need to join that page is when we do go to stop this happening, at my age, 21, <laughs> I cannot stand here for hours. We need a circle of people. We need to shift. I've been watching. Let me just give you a very quick thing that breaks my heart and I want to cry. I'm on a group with Kulak in Dublin. And it's nothing to do with her. But let me tell you what made me cry. I looked at text messages with women saying, I'm just feeding the baby. I'll be down in five minutes. If that doesn't pull at these people's strings, nothing will. They have no hearts as far as I'm concerned. I'm sick of Irish people. Been too soft. Don't call me this. Don't call me that. Call me what you're bloody like because there's no stopping me. Well, Mark, I remember you a couple of years ago coming back, coming around to all the houses. And you were going to do a lot of work for the people of Elena, especially about the houses. So I said, okay, I'll give you a chance. Yeah. So we did give you a chance, but I can tell you now, you didn't help no one to get a house here. I haven't heard of anybody. Is there anyone around here that can tell me in this group that Mark has got you a house? Because I can tell you now, I have families that he had, I have sent text messages in the past, I don't have nothing to do with them anymore now, um, to ask him, could you do this, do that? You didn't even get a text message back. So he was too busy going around cleaning the areas, which fair play to him. It's great to be able to hold the shovel in the brush to get the photograph taken. But at the end of the day, he had all these little those, those cleaners that did all that for him. I'm sorry, I have no respect for you, Mark. And that's the way it is. But going around cleaning areas is not putting a, a roof over anyone's back or over anyone's head. But you can give the twin trees hair. Like Jackie, you said something there a while ago. We want to know who's going in there. We want to know who's coming into Ballina. We don't care about the twin trees, yes, we care about, but all, the whole of area of Ballina, we want to know who's coming in. We want to know who's going to be walking down our footpaths, who's going to be in our parks, who's going to be in our leisure centres where our children are. We want to know all that. I'm going to say one thing like I've said on my page and everything I stand for. We don't have to scream though, I can't help myself. I can't help myself because my passion is so, it overpowers everything. But here's what I will say to people. You see, if we have a thousand people lined up here, do we have to say anything? No. Do we have to say one word? Do no. we have to light fires? No. Do we have to cause riots? No. Do we have to argue? No. I, I said from day one on my page, this is about people power. And I keep saying it. And everyone in the video is probably, they're probably looking at me saying, would she ever shut up? It's the only way to do it. The only way to do it is by numbers. And that's the only way to go. And that's the way we need to go. Concerned citizens of Bellina, get on the page. Let's join up. Let's tell them once and for all, we are not not accepting this now or never. Now or ever.